What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe, then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting 4 videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We've just hit 20k subscribers so thank you all so so much. Let's get to 30. Check out all the links in the description. Thousands of dollars of free crypto down there along with signals, coin calls, TA, alpha and memes in our private discord accessed by signing up to our Patreon. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. So we're just taking a look at Bitcoin here and as we can see we're still stuck in this big downtrend that we have been stuck in for a good while here. You can see quite clearly that we have got this resistance line on the RSI and also on the price action that we have been adhering to pretty much for the entire time ever since we reached that new all-time high up here at around, what was this, $69,000. We got a big rejection here, obviously. And we fell back into this little bit of, this little area here of support. We came down, we lost support, we formed a little bit of a range. Obviously, everyone thought the bottom was probably in, in around the 078 Fibonacci retracement level here. As you can see, obviously, we, we got that massive capitulation event, didn't we, where basically Bitcoin absolutely nuked all the way down to the 050 here back down to this previous swing low area here. And then obviously we've got that massive wick coming back up above the 618 where we consolidated for a good while inside this range, didn't we? It looked as though we may be getting the breakout here. Basically getting that breakout up above 52K at, at the top of this range that we formed. You can see the low, the high. We retest the lows. We come up, we retest the highs. Looking like we might be breaking out of, the, uh, breaking out of that big resistance that we were stuck under. But you can see here we came back down to the bottom of the range yet again and you can see down here at around what was this 45.5 45.6k down here you can see here obviously once we started to retest the low we retested the um the six the zero six one is resistance here still stuck underneath our emas and still stuck underneath our resistance line so we roll over again you know we come back down in and around the zero five oh level here which is this key level here, as you can see. And it looks as though, you know, since then we have just been, you know, forming another little range that we have highlighted here as well. Basically, we come down, we form the bottom and the top of the range, something like this. And then you can see here, you know, we've been testing the top of the range for a little while. Looking as though we do want to have, you know, basically a breakout pretty damn soon. We're getting very overextended, aren't we? To the downside, getting down into oh, very oversold territory at this point. And you can see, but we're still stuck under the underneath that resistance line. And until that does get broken, we're not going to be seeing any upside for Bitcoin at all, are we? You know, and in reality, you know, if we continue to get pushed down and roll over from this resistance line here, we could be coming down towards that next level, that next Fibonacci level at the 038 here, which would be coming down to around what is this 39k? In and around that 39k level, do something like this, and then maybe come back up and retest the resistance again. Because until we break this resistance here, we are just going to keep rolling over and rolling over and rolling over, which is what we've been doing, isn't it? But the light at the end of the tunnel is the fact that you can see here, when we started, you know, this downtrend on the RSI, we had that bearish divergence here, pretty clear. So we had the, you know, reversal. We come back down here to fair value in this area. But you see, it seems as though we're getting, you know, ridiculously oversold, aren't we? If we come down here, massively oversold. We get the bounce. And then we come down again, massively oversold area again getting the bounce and in our opinion you know bitcoin it's getting pretty overextended to the downside now and we do think that there is going to be a renaissance for it in the short term at the very least pretty damn soon i mean you can see here the last time we got this oversold we had that slight overextension to the downside and then the big reversal which was good to see and you know every single time that we have got this oversold here you can see there has been a, a fairly fairly decent bounce to the upside each time especially with, obviously with the v-shaped recovery we saw in the march 2020 crash so obviously looking as though we have lost that macro bull support for the market for bitcoin which is probably why we had that large liquidation event that we did from uh, what we saw you know back when we had that massive massive wick to the downside that we saw here this was when we lost that bull market support wasn't it so a lot of people obviously must have got liquidated thinking that this would never break in a bull market um by the way we do still think that we are in a bull market Obviously, it remains to be seen what's going to happen in the future and we can't predict the future, but we're not seeing, you know, massive loss of support right now in terms of a macro scale. You can see here we've come up, made a higher high, higher low, higher high. And then if this is a higher low here, 
then we are still holding, you know, for potentially another push to the upside towards that 100k mark. So overall, as always, we are cautiously optimistic with the markets. Obviously, it's very difficult to tell what's going to happen. And, you know, you never know what's going to happen in crypto. But we do think that, you know, with that extended cycle theory that's been going around a lot, we do think that this is potentially something that could be happening. We've not yet seen a blow off top for Bitcoin or for any altcoins, really. We have seen some altcoins moving a fair bit while Bitcoin has been looking very stagnant and bearish. But we don't think that the bull market is over by any stretch of the imagination. And, you know, 2022, in our opinion, we're probably just going to see some more steady growth in the market after we've seen, you know, the backside of this long extended correction. So if we do short term price predictions, then we'll keep things short and sweet. On the hourly time frame, you can see exactly what we were talking about. Got this descending resistance here. We're in a range, top of the range, bottom, bottom, bottom. We come up, we double top at the top of the range, come back down to the middle of the range here. Basically waiting to see what happens. And you can see here, if we now that we, you know, every time we touch this resistance, we roll over, don't we? So if we roll to the downside, we will be expecting a retest of 40.5K. And if we break this resistance here, which is at 43K right now, realistically, we'll be heading up towards that 44K level at the top of the range. And hopefully, you know, breaking out of that resistance and starting to get back up through our levels because that's what we want to be seeing, isn't it? And, you know, as we said before, we do think, you know, 100K Bitcoin coming up towards that in between the 141 and the 161 fibs here of this recent fib pool that we pulled from high to low. You know, we think this is very achievable in 2022. Honestly, you know, the sheer amount of adoption that we're seeing for crypto in general, you know, the massive amount of adoption, particularly for Bitcoin, the interest in Bitcoin from institutions. And the fact that we've not really seen that, you know, massive parabolic move to end the run that we always see for cryptocurrency cycles. You know, there's a lot to be, um, we would say, optimistic about. So that's it, guys. We'd like to thank you all so much for your support. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with the four videos we post every single day. Make sure to join the Patreon or YouTube membership to support us, as well as getting a ton of benefits. Crypto Maximalists will get access to daily signals, coin calls, alpha on new projects and insight into our own personal moves, while Maximalist Gold takes you beyond, giving you a look at our own personal portfolio, super low cap gems, 100x potential portfolio and constant access to us personally as a resource. We're constantly in the Discord posting daily and chatting to members and we'll be hosting giveaways soon, so come and join a community rich with value and content. Remember you can also join our public section of the Discord too, where we post news, technical analysis, daily updates on the markets, larger cap gems and the occasional meme. There's absolutely no reason not to get involved with all that value. Links are all in the description. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.